Good morning, kids. It's Mr. Ag here. Um, so something has come to our attention as teachers. Um, we are asking you to log into Dreambox two to three times a week, um, but we have emphasized to you that we want you to get your minutes in on Dreambox. Well, in reality, um, what we're what we're really hoping you do is get lessons completed. So there are about three or four of you who are actually doing lessons and sticking with lessons to completion, but most of you when you get onto Dreambox you're kind of jumping around from game to game to game and we want you to kind of avoid that. What we want you to do is actually go into Dreambox and stick with the lesson all the way through to completion. So um, I've got Harper here with me and uh, we're in his Clever account. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on his Dreambox account. I'm gonna model for you what it looks like to stick with a lesson until completion. Because uh, a predictor success and moving forward in Dreambox is when you go all the way through lessons instead of going from game to game to game. So um, what you can see here is his home screen in Dreambox. Um, this little tab here tells him his weekly goal of lessons for the week. I believe you should have this as well. Um, if you don't, you should let me know during our live session or by messaging me on, on Schoology. Um, and this, um, this is kind of your, your options board for what you click on for your lessons. And I've told you that this blue calendar here is the one that indicates your assignments. So Harper has been assigned a place value to 9,999 um, lesson, and so that's what he's going to click on, and that's what I want you to click on too. The lessons that we're working on are the ones that are that have this blue calendar on them. So, yep, I'm clicking into the lesson, and down here this imp. You, you may or may not have heard my computer um, give the instructions, um, but it did. There's a bar down at the bottom um, behind this these numbers that tells us how far along we are in the lesson. But Harper's going to tell me what to write because this is his assignment. Now you can actually click on the numbers using the mouse or you can use the keyboard to enter the numbers into the um, text box up here. Okay, so Harper, what should I write? Two, so it has two, two pallets in the thousands column. One case in the one hundred. Seventy, seven tens, and three ones. Right. So we'll click it. Or you can press enter. Or you can press. It. Right. So right here it shows my lesson progress and I have to go all the way till the green bar gets to the end and this check mark will light up and send some electricity across to the stars and fill up some of the stars. Yeah. All right, so let's keep going. Let's buzz through the rest of this. Tell me what to type. 1940. Okay. 1940. See my green bar continues to fill up. She's doing a lot of talking um, to um, help me go forward, but I'm notice I'm not jumping to another game. I'm not leaving this. Even if I was missing some items, I would continue on in this game until um, I'm able to move forward. Okay, so here we go. This is two, two thousands, two, eight hundreds, eight zero, zero tens, one. and one loose item at the end. One one. Okay. Green flannel. Yeah, for some reason. Um, okay, I want to show you what happens if you get an item incorrect. Um, so, so right here, you can see the green bar. When you get an item incorrect, it actually will affect your green bar negatively. So, um, let's say instead of um, Harper, give me a wrong answer on this one. 3,602. I'm going to, uh-oh, I got it wrong. And notice my green bar goes down. So the idea is you want to 
um, move through each lesson until you get them all right. And if you get discouraged, that's okay. You can ask someone to help you, but you don't want to ask someone to do it for you. If you need help from a teacher, that's fine too. You can ask me. Um, now, the idea is this. Dreambox will adjust to your skill level, but it takes like about four weeks of doing these lessons so that it actually gets to know who you are. So stick with it, even if it's discouraging, even if you're not getting these lessons all the way complete, you've got to stick with it and you need to be doing it independently because that's how the, the program gets to know you and your abilities as a student. Um, so if someone else is doing it for you, then you're going to end up with Dreambox work that is much harder than you can actually do. So it's very important that you stick with it independently um, so that um, it gets to know you and your abilities as a student. All right, so let's take this through to completion um, and, and we'll see what that green bar does when you get to the end of a lesson so you know what it looks like when your lesson is complete. Harper? Is one pallet of one thousand. Okay. One pallet of one hundred. Wait, is that one? Looks like one. And then count the boxes because it doesn't say. 10, 20, 30, 30, 30 40, 40, 40, 50, 50 60, 60, 70. 70. So it's seven, seven tens. Seven. And also, if you put seven one, two, zero, three, four, five, six, it'll seven, be eight, seven. Nine. It'll be. If you put seven, we got to get the ones. Is what you're trying to say? I we know. need the ones in there to make and it not correct. And the zero. Right. So there were seven tens and nine ones. Uh oh, something's wrong here. Oh, there are five hundreds. Okay, so each one of these down here would represent one hundred. So there are five hundreds. Okay, that. <laughs> now that's what the point of this is. The point of this is to be learning. So she helps you along the way by giving you hints um, as you go. Okay? Notice that the green bar went down when I got it wrong. She's helping me right now by talking to us, and I'm not sure you can hear that in your video. I don't think you can. Okay. So we see two of these thousands, correct? And then look here. And then nine. Nine hundreds, yep. Yeah. So two thousands, nine hundreds, uh, one, one box of ten, and nine loose items, nine ones. Okay? Good. Notice the green bar is going forward. And it's... I always encourage you to use your voice as you work through this because it gives your brain another avenue to learn. So when you hear yourself using the language of math, you're not only thinking about it, but your brain is getting an extra pathway to learn the new material. So I encourage you to talk out loud to yourself while you're doing this. Okay, so Harper, you've got one pallet of 1,000. How many hundreds? Um, if you look at the blue Just say the number. Three. And how many boxes of ten? One, four. two, three, four. Four tens and six ones. All right, my green bar is moving up. I probably have two more to get correct. Two thousands. Zero hundreds. One, two, three, four tens. And zero ones. Two thousand forty. All right, maybe I've got three more. Here's two thousands, one hundred, um, one, two, three, four tens, and five ones. Okay. Uh oh, I got it wrong. Uh oh, this is nine, isn't it? Okay, see, two thousand nine hundred and four. I forget. I'm just buzzing through it. Um. Okay, so. Here we go. We've got two thousands, nine hundreds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've got two thousand, nine hundred, eight tens, and nine ones for two thousand nine hundred eighty-nine. Okay. 
video is almost. Oh, we're That's close. <laughs> All right. Look, my lesson's completed. I get that little electrical charge into my stars, and I have completed one full lesson. So this is what your what it looks like to complete your goals in Dreambox. You need to stick with the lesson until you finish the lesson. Um, and that will that will actually help you move forward in your learning. It will help your um, Dreambox statistics in terms of like uh, the Dreambox being able to adjust to your student level, um, which is the point of Dreambox. The point of Dreambox is that you're working at your level in the various areas of math so that it can help you take the next steps in your learning. So stick with the lessons from start to finish um, and also click on those um, those those blue the blue calendar up here shows that this is what we're actually working on and this is the what's assigned to you how do i get out of this so you press so i'm controlling the keyboard right now you press this button to get back to the home page homepage, and then it does your weekly goal two lessons completed so it showed that he completed another lesson and it gives him a new choice and it gives and he's he's been given assignments in place value by his teacher because that's what they're working on in fourth grade in Eureka Math. So this is where he's going to keep clicking in to do assignments that focus on helping him understand things that that help him in his daily math in fourth grade. All right, guys, I'd like to say thanks to Harper for helping me do this video. Thanks, buddy. And um, I wish you a, a good day. I want you, with the remaining time in math, to click into Dreambox and try to get one of those lessons complete today. All right, here we go. Good luck and have fun.